Hello everyone, welcome back. I uploaded a pantry organization video a few months back which you guys seem to like a lot so thank you so much for that. Today I'm revisiting my old system and sharing things that just weren't working well for me. The goal of organization should be to make your life easier so you have more time to spend on things that you truly love to do. So let's see what those problem areas were and the solutions I came up with. So hopefully you, my friends, can get a tip or two if you are looking to organize or reorganize your pantry. So the first thing that I wanted to share is mason jars. So you guys know I replaced all the plastic spice jars I had with this mason jars and it's been working fantastic. Mason jars are affordable, they're really good quality, they're visually appealing and clean looking. Love all of that. And if you are just like me that use mason jars a lot, you know the two part tops is just not convenient. So a friend suggested one part lids that are easily available online or Amazon or stores such as Walmart, Target and they're really affordable also. So I got a bunch of sets. It comes in a pack of eight. I washed and dried them out completely and today I am giving my pantry an uplift with these new lids. They're really sturdy, easy to screw on and off and look nice in the pantry and also make the spice rack look good. I'm very happy with the overall look and the convenience that it's going to bring to my everyday life. The next thing that I want to talk about is shelf liners. So they are awesome, but one major lesson I learned about this open weave construction liners is that they aren't so great for pantry especially for an indian pantry where we use so many different type of flowers rice grains lentils and there is always going to be some spillage from time to time and this open weave pattern makes it so difficult to clean as the flower etc sieves through and sticks to the shelf so i am going to replace this with a smooth top liner which will be much easier to wipe down so I took everything down, cleaned out the shelf. After that, I just went ahead and put in a smooth shelf liner in this high traffic area. I love the smooth top and the minimal look and the fact that it's going to be so much easier to clean. So if you are looking into shelf liners for your pantry or kitchen, I recommend getting a smooth top one to avoid yourself some cleaning hassle. The next thing that I want to share is how to store garlic. So I have these baskets for produce items in the pantry that have been working well. However, garlic has been a little problematic. I don't know about you, but I hate seeing little garlic peels all over in my produce basket. So I researched and found this laundry bag hack on Pinterest for garlic storage, but I didn't just want to hang it on the wall because I'm trying to minimize clutter. So I put my own spin on it i took a laundry bag uh, from a dollar store nothing fancy here and folded it a few times and created a little basket like so and clipped it on one side of the basket with some back clips and i'm gonna see how this works out the next tip that I want to share is to address bad boys or bugs in the pantry. My mom shared this tip with me many many years ago that I've religiously followed and it works really really well and that is to use bay leaves in the pantry especially in flour containers, rice containers to keep the bugs away and it works really really well. If you have ants and spiders, they actually detest the smell of peppermint. So what you can do is you can place a few drops of peppermint essential oil onto a cotton ball and place it in areas where you store snacks, chips or any items that may entice bugs. 
Another cheap and simple trick is to use cinnamon. It works a lot like peppermint oil and if bugs smell cinnamon, they will stay away. You can put a little bit of ground cinnamon in a small bowl to place in your pantry or you can use cinnamon sticks as well. Another idea to keep the bugs away from your pantry would be to use uh, the moth repellent sachets that I showed you in my previous video. If you haven't watched it, I will link it down below so you can watch it after you have finished watching this video and those sachets would work just as fine. So those were all of the challenges, problems and solutions that I had to share today. I really hope you got some ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.